A few months ago I told you guys that 5G was coming to the Helium network. So in this video we're going to take a look at what you can currently earn with your 5G gateway. How far we are along with the whole plan, what we can expect in the future and so forth. So if you like the sound of that, be sure to continue watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe at the end of the video. So we go to the official 5G webpage on the Helium website. We see some very interesting highlights. So first of all, GeekSky is looking into offering 5G mobile plans for the Helium network. This of course is very important. If nobody has a SIM card that works on the network, then nobody can use it. Then of course we had the announcement that DISH is becoming the first major carrier to deploy on Helium 5G. This is confirmed. And then a newer one, Freedom Fi, raises 9.5 million from Samsung and Qualcomm. These are of course interesting partners to have. Last year we already had the announcement that Freedom Fi made a Helium compatible gateway and that they were doing a testing phase. Apparently this testing phase was successful because we have a new manufacturer. We're of course talking about Bobcat. These guys already shipped out over 300,000 hotspots for the LoRaWAN network in Helium. So they have shipped out the most hotspots of all the manufacturers. So it's good news that they now also have a 5G gateway coming up. I hope you don't mind, I'm going to do a little shameless plug. I have an affiliate link for Bobcat, so if you are planning to buy a LoRaWAN gateway or one of these 5G ones, please use the link in the description of this video. If you don't want to use it, of course, no problem. Just go to the official website, go to products, and then you see the Bobber 500. So this is the 5G one, this is the regular miner, and this will be the light miner. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Bobber. As we can see, it concerns an indoor model. The price is about $1,000. It is compatible with the Freedom Fi CBRS small cell, so it is very important. It only works with these ones from Freedom Fi. Another important thing to note, this only works in the US. Now, if you think buying just the gateway is enough to get started, well then think again because you need a little bit more, sadly. So it's $1,000 for the gateway. This will connect you to the Helium network, but to receive the cell phone signals, you will need something else. So how does it work? Step one, buy a certified CBRS small cell. So you need a CBRS small cell to receive cell phone signals. Then connect your CBRS small cell to your Freedom Fi gateway or to your Bobcat Bobber, of course. Once that is set up, you can start earning HNT. As we can see on this page, price of an indoor small cell is about 1500 bucks and it is 2500 for an outdoor small cell. So yes, this means you will need both the gateway and a small cell. So the minimum investment they will have to make is $2,500. Once you've decided to purchase all of this equipment, there is one more thing that you shouldn't forget. And that's of course a SIM card that is compatible with Helium Network. As of now, GeekSky is not offering the 5G subscriptions for Helium yet. So the only solution that you have is buying the SIM card package from FreedomFi. So it includes three SIM cards, so you can test with several cell phones and it has six months worth of data. Now we take a look at the Helium Explorer and we click on Makers. Then we see that right now, we have over 5,000 hotspots added for the Freedom Fi gateway. So that's already a pretty good start. Uh, as I said, it's still in beta, but if you want to have real 5G coverage, we'll need a whole lot more. And in that sense, it is really good news that Bobcat is becoming the second manufacturer. Because as we can see, Bobcat has over 200,000 hotspots live on the network already. So yeah, again, to me, this is very good news because they already have proven that they can manufacture, they can ship out and they can handle large volumes. So let's quickly take a deeper look at the Bobber 500. In this instruction video, we can see the small cell unit from FreedomFi. It's very important to know if you set this up, you will need a GPS signal. This is what they're doing right now. They're connecting the GPS antenna. Next, they will connect an Ethernet cable to the one port and this Ethernet cable goes to the Bobber unit. There you go. It gets connected to this port. And of course, the Bobber itself needs a connection to the Internet as well. So you go from the small cell unit to the Bobber and then from the Bobber to your Internet connection. Then you power things up and you're good to go. So now that we know what equipment we need and how easy it is to connect all the cables, it is important to talk a little bit about the placement of the antenna and the technology itself. So the technology that we're using for the 5G is the Citizens Broadband Radio Service or short CBRS. This signal works in a different frequency than LoRaWAN and this of course has consequences. When using LoRaWAN and we have line of sight, we can easily go 30 kilometers or further with the signal. 
but however with the CBRS frequency this is more in the range of 8 to 10 kilometers so it is one third of the LoRaWAN signal and this of course is because it works in a different frequency and we need more power to get the signal propagated in this frequency. A few more things you have to keep in mind before you spend that $2,500. First of all, it only works in the US for now. So if you're in Europe, Asia or whatever, it doesn't work. Don't spend your money on this. Second of all, can I install an indoor small cell outdoors? Nope, it is made for indoor only. There is an outdoor cell. It is certified to be put outside. So it's very important that if you want to place one outside, you're going to buy an outdoor one. If you're going to place it indoors, you need an indoor one. I think the regulations around 5G are very strict, so it's important that you use the right one for the right location. Scrolling down, if I already have a standard Helium setup, will it interfere with my rewards? Yes, because like I said before, the gateway works exactly as a normal LoRa 1 gateway. So if you put two gateways close to each other, they will take down the reward scale in that hexagon. If you don't know what hexagon is or how the system works, click in the link that pops up right now in the top right corner it will give you some more information about how the helium network and how the proof of coverage system works another important thing to keep in mind especially if you are a do-it-yourself guy in theory you can of course connect any cbrs radio with the right cables but sadly this will not work because the bobber 500 is programmed in such a way that it can only communicate with freedom Fi software so you can only use freedom Fi certified devices Last but not least, it is important to keep in mind it's not because people around you are using 5G that they're automatically going to connect to your hotspot. It's only if you have a Helium 5G SIM card that it will connect to the Helium 5G network. So if you're wondering to yourself, are there a lot of people who already have a Helium 5G SIM card? Well, sadly, the answer is no, because they're still working on onboarding providers who are willing to offer a 5G Helium subscription. So right now, only people who bought the SIM cards from Freedom Fi are able to communicate with your 5G hotspot. But of course, partnerships will take care of this problem in the future. And when we have companies like GigSky offering 5G mobile plans that are compatible with Helium, you will see a whole host of new people getting onboarded to the Helium network. And the same goes, of course, for the partnership with Dish. Now they were up to date on all the technicals, it is time to take a look at the return on investment. So in that sense, it is very important to keep in mind a gateway is a gateway for the Helium network. It doesn't matter if it's a 5G gateway or a LoRa 1 gateway, they are treated exactly the same. This of course begs the question, then why the hell would you invest $2,500 in a 5G hotspot and not just $500 in a regular hotspot? The reason comes down to this. 35% of all the HT rewards is going to network data. So the question that you should ask yourself is the region that I want to put a hotspot, are they more interested in getting 5G connection at a cheaper price or are they more interested in getting a LoRa 1 connection for IoT devices? Personally, I think if you are in a region with a lot of consumers, 5G is more interesting. If you are more in a business area, it could make more sense to take a look at a LoRa 1 solution. Personally, I'm really happy to see a 5G solution that is completely decentralized. I think all around the world, the market's being dominated by a few big players. So for them, it's really easy to keep the prices high. From an investment perspective, I do think it is important to keep in mind that data usage will only go up if people have a Helium 5G SIM card. And as we've seen right now, you can only buy a beta SIM card from the Freedom 5 website. So this is not really accessible yet. This is really for people who want to support the beta, want to build out the network, and you really want to invest their time, energy, and money in making this whole thing work. So if you're not counting on any data usage, how much will you be making with a 5G hotspot? Well, simply put, you will make the same as any other hotspot in the network right now. On average, in the past 30 days, it would be 2.6 HNT per month. And this, of course, is not a lot. And personally, I do think if you position your hotspot well, you can make 7 up to 10 HNT per month. Right now, at current prices, that would be $70 per month. But we have to keep in mind we are in a market crash. If you think back at November, then HNT was above $50. So imagine making 10 HNT per month at $50. That would give you $500 per month. And that, of course, is a very nice return. I understand these are a lot of ifs, but just as with any other crypto project, it is important that you do your own research and that you only invest into projects that you believe in in the long term. So if you're still excited about Helium, but $2,500 is just a little bit too much, then thankfully there are other ways to get involved with the Helium network as well. As we can see on the Bobcat website, we have different products. One of them is the Bobcat Miner 300. 
this product is out on the market it has been there for a few months and it works it is available for 429 dollars and it's available in models for different regions if this price is still too much then i suggest waiting a little bit because in the upcoming months there will be a new product called bobber 200 this will be a light hotspot, so it will be cheaper than the Bobcat Miner 300. Sadly, we don't have an exact price. Personally, I think it will be between $250 and $300. When it comes to timing, there is no information either, but I think it will be released sometime in the summer. Either way, if you're interested in one of these products and you want to support the channel, then I do want to ask you to use the link that you'll find in the description of this video. Alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please do post a comment and don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for the notifications. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.